You're probably paying hundreds of dollars a month for AI tools and wondering if it's actually worth the money. Well, I've been testing every major AI release that dropped this week, and I discovered something shocking. One company just figured out how to give you the same AI performance for 98% less money, while another is building devices that could completely replace your smartphone. But here's the twist that nobody's talking about. The real winner this week wasn't even from Silicon Valley. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts. Click the newsletter link in the description for weekly analysis delivered straight to your inbox. So in this video, I'm breaking down four massive AI developments that dropped this week, and trust me, each one is going to change how you think about AI's future. We're talking about breakthrough cost reductions, hardware that could replace your phone, models that are crushing benchmarks, and even AI that's helping people win the lottery. First up, let's dive into how Elon Musk's team just solved one of AI's biggest problems. And it's not what you think. The speed revolution. XAI's game-changing breakthrough. Here's where things get interesting. While everyone's been focused on making AI models bigger and smarter, XAI took a completely different approach with Grok 4 Fast. Instead of just throwing more computing power at the problem, they asked a brilliant question. What if we could get nearly the same performance while using 40% fewer reasoning tokens? The results are staggering. We're talking about a 98% reduction in task costs. That's not a typo, 98%. But here's the really clever part that most people are missing. Grok 4 Fast doesn't just run in one mode. It actually switches between complex reasoning for the heavy lifting and fast mode for everyday tasks. It's like having a sports car that can also be an economical daily driver, automatically choosing the right gear for the situation. What makes this even more impressive is how it performed against the competition. On LM Arena, it topped search-related tasks and landed in eighth place for text-based tasks. That might not sound like first place, but when you consider it's doing this at a fraction of the cost of its competitors, it's actually revolutionary. This isn't just about making AI cheaper. It's about making advanced AI accessible to businesses that couldn't afford it before. The post-smartphone era begins. But wait until you see what OpenAI is planning, because this next development could fundamentally change how we interact with technology. They're not just building another app or improving an existing model. They're creating an entirely new category of device that could make smartphones feel as outdated as flip phones. Picture this. Pocket-sized AI devices with no screens, designed by Joni Ive, Apple's legendary former chief designer. These aren't just gadgets. They're ambient, contextually aware assistants that listen, understand, and respond without requiring you to stare at a display. We're talking about AI-powered glasses, wearable pins, and digital voice recorders that could debut as early as late 2026. Here's what's fascinating about this approach. Instead of trying to cram more features into smartphones, OpenAI is betting on a completely different interaction model. Think about it. How much of your day do you spend looking down at a screen when you could be engaged with the world around you? These devices are designed to be constant, portable companions that enhance your reality instead of replacing it. The timing couldn't be more strategic either. While Apple dominates personal devices and startups like Humane and Rabbit are experimenting with similar concepts, OpenAI has the AI expertise and now the design partnership to potentially leapfrog everyone. If they pull this off, we might look back at 2026 as the year everything changed. The trillion parameter titan. This next story will surprise you because it's coming from a player that many people in the West haven't been paying enough attention to. Alibaba just dropped Quen 3 Max, and with over 1 trillion parameters, it's not just another large language model. It's potentially a paradigm shift in global AI leadership. Here's what caught my attention. In benchmark tests, Quen 3 Max variants are reportedly outperforming Claude Opus 4 and DeepSeek 5 3.1, especially in reasoning, coding accuracy, and long context processing. But the real story isn't just about raw performance. It's about strategic positioning. Alibaba isn't just competing. 
They're targeting enterprise applications in finance, legal, and R&D sectors, where advanced automation is becoming essential. What makes this particularly intriguing is the broader context. This release strengthens China's strategy to lead in AI infrastructure while reducing dependency on U.S. tech giants. For developers and businesses worldwide, this means more options, more competition, and potentially more innovation. When you have multiple powerhouses pushing the boundaries, everyone benefits from the rapid advancement. The emphasis on efficiency and adaptability is crucial here too. It's one thing to build a massive model. It's another to make it practical for developers to actually integrate into products. Alibaba seems to understand that winning the AI race isn't just about having the biggest model, it's about having the most useful one. AI gaming gets real. And speaking of practical applications, Google just made a move that could change gaming forever. Gemini Live now offers real-time in-game AI assistance, and this isn't just about answering questions. It's about fundamentally changing how we learn and improve at games. Instead of pausing to browse forums or watch lengthy tutorials, players can now get instant, AI-powered insights without ever leaving the game. Imagine having a knowledgeable friend who knows every strategy, every shortcut, and every optimization, available at a moment's notice. That's essentially what Google is offering with this integration. But here's where it gets really interesting. This isn't just about gaming. It's about Google positioning Gemini as a multifunctional AI platform that's equally at home in professional settings and entertainment ecosystems. The broader implications are huge. We're seeing AI move beyond productivity tools into entertainment. And that suggests we're entering a phase where AI becomes seamlessly integrated into every aspect of our digital lives. The competitive response should be fascinating to watch too. Microsoft, with Xbox and Copilot integrations, probably won't sit still for long. We might be witnessing the beginning of an AI gaming arms race that could revolutionize how we experience interactive entertainment, the unexpected and the inevitable. Now let me share some stories that perfectly capture both the whimsical and challenging sides of our AI future. First, the whimsical. A woman used ChatGPT to pick Powerball numbers and won $150,000. She's donating the entire amount to charity, which is heartwarming. But the story raises fascinating questions about how we're starting to incorporate AI into the most human activities, including those based purely on chance. On the flip side, we saw the inevitable growing pains when Meta's AI-powered Ray-Ban smart glasses froze during Mark Zuckerberg's live keynote. The awkward silence, the nervous laughs. It was a perfect reminder that for all the hype around AI hardware, we're still in the early, sometimes embarrassing stages of making these technologies reliable in real-world conditions. But perhaps the most important development is one that happens behind the scenes. Microsoft researchers unveiled a microfluidics-based cooling system that cools AI chips up to three times more efficiently than current technology. This might sound technical and boring, but it's actually critical to everything else we've discussed. Here's why this matters. AI models are generating unprecedented heat loads, and current cooling methods could hit their limits within five years. Without breakthroughs like Microsoft's system, which channels liquid coolant directly onto silicon and uses AI to optimize cooling precision, we might face a physical barrier to AI advancement. This isn't just an engineering problem. It's potentially the bottleneck that determines whether AI continues its explosive growth. What this all means. When you step back and look at these developments together, a clear pattern emerges. We're not just seeing incremental improvements in AI. We're witnessing the emergence of an entire ecosystem designed to make AI more accessible, more integrated, and more powerful than ever before. The cost reductions from XA, I mean more businesses can afford advanced AI. The hardware innovations from OPENAI suggest AI is moving beyond screens into ambient computing. The performance breakthroughs from Alibaba show that competition is driving rapid advancement globally. The gaming integration from Google demonstrates AI's expansion into entertainment. And the infrastructure improvements from Microsoft ensure we can sustain this growth. 
Each of these stories on its own would be significant. Together, they suggest we're approaching an inflection point where AI transforms from a powerful tool into the foundational layer of how we interact with technology, work, play, and even make decisions about our daily lives. The question isn't whether this transformation will happen. It's how quickly we'll adapt to a world where AI is everywhere, helping with everything, and constantly getting better at understanding what we need before we even ask for it. So there you have it, five game-changing AI developments from just this week that show we're entering uncharted territory. If you found these insights valuable, make sure to subscribe because AI news is moving fast, and I'll be here to break down what actually matters for your future. Drop a comment and let me know which of these developments surprised you the most, or if you've had any interesting experiences with AI lately. Until next time, keep exploring the future.